Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Mike the Tech Savvy. Today I'll show you how to very easily unlock, root, relock or unroot your Nexus device with a very simple software that is completely free of charge. This program will do all the work for you, will gather all the necessary files and drivers you only need to install it, connect the phone to the computer and click a couple of buttons, that's all. You don't need to install ADB separately on your PC. You don't need to know terminal commands or so forth. It's really simple and straightforward. It works on any Nexus device. Yes, you heard me well, Nexus devices only, so the Pixel devices are not included in this. I'll be showing you how it works on a Nexus 5X. Naturally, it will work on the 6P as well. The phone that I have right here has the latest Android 7.1.2. with the May security update. Bill number N2G470. In order to make sure that your phone is ready for unlocking the bootloader and rooting the device, you need to make sure some steps are followed before installing the software on the PC. So just Enable developer settings by clicking seven times on the bill number. OEM unlocking should be ticked, just like here. USB debugging also has to be ticked. And that's about it. Now you can simply connect the phone to the PC. Click on transfer files here. USB debugging connected. And now we'll go through the process directly PC screen. I've already installed the Nexus Root Toolkit software, so I'll open it directly. It starts the ADB. At this point, you'll see on your phone screen a dialog box which asks you if you'll allow USB debugging. So tick the box which says always allow from this computer and now click OK. Now the Nexus Root Toolkit software has been launched. This is not the first program launch for me, therefore it hasn't downloaded the super user or the custom recovery files. But for you at the first launch, it will download these files. If it's unable to do so, it will give you a link to download them manually and then integrate them in the software itself. So my phone now has a locked bootloader and it's not rooted. I've previously flashed the factory image with the May security updates, so the latest one. My device is the H791 model, but it shouldn't make any difference if yours is the first one. There are only a couple of network bands that separate these two models. So to unlock the bootloader, simply click unlock here. You can auto detect the device and the build right here. In my case, the build is very new. The software does not recognize the build that I'm currently on, but you have to simply select any build, just like I did here, and then click apply. Now it will remind you, check the USB debugging box on your phone just like I did beforehand 
So now to unlock the bootloader, you have to simply click the unlock button here. It will give you some warnings. Before these steps, just make sure you backup all your data at every point, or you can simply do it at the beginning and you can restore it at the end of the complete process. Press OK. You can see that it has already started. It will reboot the device into bootloader mode. And it will prompt you to click the up volume key to yes and then press the power button. You have to wait for the device to boot up now. It might take a while, something like 5, 10, maybe 20 minutes. It already booted up after only a couple of minutes, I think. So now in order to root it, you have to go to development once again and re-enable the USB debugging. And now we go back to the Nexus Root Toolkit software. We click the Root button if we only want Root or we can also tick the custom recovery box if we want both. I will flash both because the custom recovery is very useful if you'd like to flash some custom ROMs afterwards. So just tick the custom recovery box and click on Root. Here you'll have a short description of the steps that will be taken. Of course, the bootloader has to be unlocked. So unlock the bootloader first, just like I did before. And afterwards you can root and install a custom recovery. Click OK. Once again, the phone will be rebooted into bootloader mode, but now you don't have to do anything, all the steps will be done automatically. First it flashes the custom recovery and afterwards the super SU is injected into the system. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the developers of this software. The routing procedure is now complete. Now we have a rooted device and the custom recovery installed on it. So we have SuperSU, I'll show you that it works right here. We also have BCBox. So basically the phone is now ready for deep bloating if you'd like to do so, because even this stock firmware has some apps that cannot be deleted, such as Google Play Games, for example. You can only disable it, but you cannot delete it. We also have a custom recovery installed, so if we want to install a custom ROM, we can simply reboot into recovery, copy the zip file onto the internal memory, and then simply flash it. So this was the entire process. I'd like to thank you for watching. I know that I have searched for a simple method to root and to unlock the bootloader of this device. I've used this software on previous Nexus devices. The download link for the Nexus Root Toolkit is already in the description below. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, if the video was useful to you, press the like button. And if you'd like to see similar videos in the future, also press the subscribe button. This was Mike the Tech Savvy. I wish you a great day. Bye.